Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and today I'm here with a Diamond Art Club sneak peek unboxing of one of their new releases this week. Thanks to Diamond Art Club for sending this over. This, along with the other new releases, are going to be coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, May 4th, at 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. If you're in the Diamond or Ruby tier of the rewards program, you do get a half an hour early access window, so be sure to check your email or be logged into your account and check the new arrivals section at that early access time. The kit I have to share with you guys today, we have another Margaret Morales. So this is Inside Watery Eyes and is going to have square shaped diamonds and be 55.8 by 70 centimeters, 22 by 27.66 inches. So I cannot wait to get a look at this kit and those colors, but first a really quick tour of the box. There's blue branding on here that Diamond Art Club uses with their square drill diamond painting kits and some information on the back about how to diamond paint your kit contents and then a QR code that you can scan for 10% off your purchase. And if you are brand new to Diamond Art Club and thinking of making your very first purchase maybe of this beautiful kit tomorrow, I do have a 20% off discount code that you are welcome to use. That is just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E and the number 20. And that's uh, for your first purchase. However, I want to make sure you know, as always, that it is an affiliate code. So I may make a small commission uh, if you choose to use it. And I always appreciate it. Thank you so much. It goes right back into my channel, but also don't want you to feel obligated. You're going to see some other discount codes here in, oops, here in this video. And I just would gently suggest taking advantage of some sort of discount code. Almost at this point, it's like Diamond Art Club doesn't want us paying full price for our orders. So let me show you what's included in their toolkit, which there's that, and there's the toolkit contents. I like Diamond Art Club's toolkits a lot. Uh, they're really, I feel like, generous for a basic toolkit, a beginner toolkit even. It's gonna have everything you need to do your diamond painting, including, of course, a pen, and there's a squishy. The color on these will vary and you're also going to get some thin plastic multi-placers that you can pop into the end of your pen if you'd like to try your hand at um, placing more than one diamond at a time we also have a pair of tweezers and they have diamond art club on the end and usually are a bit sharp so i recommend keeping that cover on when you're not using them we also have a bag of baggies you can store your diamonds in these we have some pink wax which there's a couple of pink hearts in here. There is a thin plastic film on there you're going to want to peel back before you try to load up your pen. Then we have a tray, which this is a tray stopper that you can pop in there to help stop the diamonds from sliding out while you're diamond painting. And then we have a roll of washi tape. There's a lot of different possible prints you could get with your washi tape. And I have a video you'll find linked in the description box below where I demo and explain the ways that I use washi tape when it comes to diamond painting. It's very handy. Last but not least, we have a cover minder and the style on these, the one you'll get will vary. There's magnets on the back and you can, oops, if you don't drop it, <laughs> it's gone. It's on the floor. I'm just, it's fine. You can use the magnets to hold back the plastic cover while you're diamond painting. You know, sometimes I just, I'm klutzy. What can I say? <laughs> so that's your toolkit. And then Diamond Art Club does also include this smaller sticker. I like that it has the thumbnail and the title and the, some of the stats. And I use this in my paper logbook once I start working on a diamond painting. Some people use this on the side of the box to help organize their stash a little bit better. Um, or you can find, you know, something crafty to do with it. Everything else is included in here. Where's the, oh, it's right there. It's not as far down as I'm used to seeing it. It's like a smaller bag than usual. Huh. Anyway. As long as it was protected, I'm good. Okay, so let's unroll it and take a look. Oh, look at the fish. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> oh, look at those colors. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is gorgeous. Wow, wow. Okay, let me kind of, well, let me roll it backwards first. Help it lay flat a little faster. Uh, this is safe to do with Diamond Art Club's canvases. Um, any canvas that uses poured glue, this is typically safe to do it with, uh, which Diamond Art Club does. And their canvas material also is just really forgiving. Their canvas material is also self-flattening. So if you do just leave it out for a little bit, it'll flatten on its own. But I like to, I like to be a little more efficient. <laughs> 
So, wow, her face, look at how good her face looks. My gosh, Diamond Art Club is nailing, rendering these Margaret Morales faces. We started seeing Margaret Morales kits release, I think Black Friday last year. And um, just recently, we've had kind of a batch of them. I've unboxed a couple of them here and I am really, really happy with how they're looking and seeing people complete them and just how they're rendered with diamonds down. They're looking really good. And I have to admit, I was a little unsure <laughs> because Margaret Morales' art is very soft, very watercolory, and I'm so happy to see the Diamond Art Club can do that kind of rendering. Anyway, let me go over what else is included here. So you have a pamphlet. There's a thank you note from the founder. We have what's included in your kit. A beginner video, which I also have done a diamond painting for beginners video that you can find below in the description of this video. And then here's a link to the VIP Facebook group. By the way, make sure that your name on Facebook matches your name on your Diamond Art Club account when you try to join. You can join once you've made your first purchase, but that's how they match it up and make sure that, you know, you're all good to go. And then here's some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you, as well as some tips and tricks. Here's yet another discount code and then some information about the mobile app, which you get 20% off your first purchase through the app. Also included is this larger sticker sheet. There's the title Inside Watery Eyes by Margaret Morales and a spot trait your start and end date. There is a bigger look at that really dreamy <laughs> original artwork. Um, someone commented on my last Margaret Morales sneak peek unboxing when I had said something about some of the stylistic choices that Margaret Morales makes that I wasn't aware of, but that like the reds at the tips of their fingers, and I think the red around their eyes is a callback to a specific cultural um, uh, thing that was done. And I, I don't remember the exact details about it, but I was, I loved that. I'll have to refresh my memory and I'll tell you in my next Margaret Morales <laughs> unboxing a little bit more about that. Uh, so anyway, I just, I enjoyed that little, little factoid. Down here, we've got the drill shape and the size. And over on this side of the sticker paper, we have a set of, these are actually pre-cut sticker labels for you. So if you kit up your diamonds into storage containers or baggies, uh, these being just kind of pre-cut labels is really handy because then you can just peel them off and put them on whatever you've put your diamonds into and then it's really easy to find the color you're looking for. The right hand column has the color code system, which this is the DMC color code system, which is what most diamond painting companies use. It comes from the DMC brand of floss like with cross stitch. With Diamond Art Club, however, there's a couple exceptions I want to note just quickly. First, anything under the number 150 is going to be a special drill type called an AB, and I'll tell you more about those when we're looking at the drills later. There's three AB colors in this kit. If you look at the end of the color list, you will also sometimes see colors that have a letter at the beginning. Like here we have two colors with the letter Z. That's a different kind of special drill called a fairy dust diamond. We'll again look at those in just a bit. I also want to point out any numbers that you see in the 6000s range are Diamond Art Club specific. The 6000s range does not exist in the DMC. Diamond Art Club just, they make their diamonds in house, which means they can make their own colors in house. Um, and so they're looking at where there are gaps in the DMC color code system and creating colors to fill those gaps that let them really get as close to the original artwork as possible when they're rendering, which I love it. I'm here for it. <laughs> here are the diamonds. We're gonna take a closer look at these in just a little bit, but just look at those colors, a little preview of the colors. I'm going to take you on a little tour of the diamond art of this canvas, the diamond art club canvas. I'm getting ahead of myself talking about the branding. I'm going to tell you about some of the features on this, on their canvases. So up here at the top is their branding diamond art club. Do, do it makes you sparkle diamond art club. Now I'm all flustered. That's okay. It's that kind of day. <laughs> um, if you take a look at the edges, you'll see that they are scalloped and poked. So you shouldn't have to worry about any fraying on your canvas. The back is really soft and plush. The material on these canvases I find to be really, um, it's both malleable and sturdy. It's a nice combination that in the end, I feel like holds drills really well, lays flat really well. It's just a really, and a nice material to work on too. They also use, uh, they use poured glue on their kits and it's very sticky. I do not run into issues with drills falling off. And then the plastic cover, this does include a recent feature that they have added that you'll see on new release, most if not all new releases at this point, but it's perforated. Let me let it catch the light. You can see those lines on there a bit. 
Okay, so they have pre-sectioned perforated areas that uh, they're about four by four inches or 10 by 10 centimeters at the full size. And you can use that to work on, you know, that size section if you like. If you'd prefer to ignore it, you can and just, you know, use whatever method you have then. But if you do choose to use it and you go to split the sections or peel the section off, if you just tug it on either side, it'll split. So it is a nice feature. So uh, I appreciate that Diamond Art Club includes that for those that will use it. There's a legend, a color list up here at the top left, as well as down here at the bottom right. And then at the bottom left is a thumbnail of the original artwork, the size, and then copyright. So yes, Diamond Art Club has legally licensed this artwork from Margaret Morales, which means that the artist has both given permission for the use of this artwork and is being compensated for it as well. This is the case with all of Diamond Art Club's pieces. They are all above board as far as licensing goes, which I am all about supporting companies that are doing right by artists. Here we have their socials and yet another discount code. And then here is a little bit of information about their lifetime warranty. As long as you're the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty, which includes uh, things like if you, you know, run out of diamonds or run into any issues with your kit. I think all the details are on the website and you can contact customer support to get help with that. Looking at the printing on the canvas, it is really clearly printed in my opinion. And this kit features a mix of, it looks like a good amount of confetti, but there is some color blocking in here as well. It's actually a really good example of color blocking is in her face. So you see how we have this big section of the same symbol. This is color blocking. And so you'll be able to use a multi-placer if you like, and you'll have that color in your tray for a bit longer. And so areas with color blocking tend to go a bit faster. We absolutely have lots of areas of confetti in this piece, like in the fish scales here. You can even see sometimes it looks like it's literally sprinkled confetti here with little dots. Confetti is where you have more color changes in a small area and we'll probably be doing more single placing, changing out the color in your trays more often, and that tends to take longer. However, the payoff is that you tend to get more detail and nice color shading. These fish, they look so good even just printed on the canvas. They did, a, I think they did a great job. I think this is gonna look really good. Underwater scenes in particular, in my experience, Underwater scenes tend to have a lot of confetti in them. I don't know if it's just the effect of water or, or what, but yeah, I'm not surprised to see this has a good amount of confetti in it. I'm gonna just do a quick measurement to make sure we're true to size. We usually are, but I always like to double check anyway. Uh, we're, just, we're just about 70 centimeters on the nose, which is what we're listed as it looks like. And then this way we're at... Um, uh, just under 56 centimeters and we're listed as 55.8 so true to size all around not shocking we usually are with diamond art club kits but like i said i always like to double check <laughs> now looking at the diamonds we have a sticker on here that tells you what kit these go with in case you store your diamonds separate from the canvas and outside the box they came in There's a better look at that color spread. Lots of pastels, lots of blues, which is not shocking for underwater, but lots of you know, purples and pinks too. So right off the bat, we have our first 6,000 color, which is 6,010. Again, this is not a special drill, but this is a Diamond Art Club created color um, as far as like the code goes. As I mentioned, this kit has square shaped diamonds and these are in heat sealed bags with the DMC code printed on the front. Diamond Art Club does make all of their diamonds in house. Like I, I mentioned, we were talking about colors, but this also allows them to have better quality control over the drills themselves. Hold that thought. Here's our first special drill type. 141 is an AB, which AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And if you take a look, these drills have a really sparkly iridescent coating on the top that really catches your eye. It's going to nicely, beautifully highlight the areas that has been charted. And you'll see 141 in a lot of Diamond Art Club kits. It's a, it's a good one. Um, but yes, yeah, so I find the Diamond Art Club square drills are typically pretty consistent in size and shape because they, you know, do have that quality control. But, you know, if I've run into issues in the past, I've also been able to share that feedback with them and they've been able to try to address it. Here's our next special drill color. It's 133. That's a bright orange. That's got to be in the fish scales, right? Love that. And then here's our first fairy dust color. So Z3746, oops, sorry that I bumped you so hard there. I was going to zoom you in. Uh, so this is our first fairy dust color. 
I'm trying to keep me still here. Um, and this is a purple fairy dust color. Fairy dust drills have a really subtle glitter coating rushed on the top that just gives some kind of a shimmery effect. This is more subtle than some other fairy dust colors that I have seen, though I did have a, a really subtle fairy dust in my uh, Margaret Morales kit from last week. So there you can kind of see it a little bit. It's there, but it is, it is a subtle effect on this particular color. Um, we'll see if some of the other colors maybe have a more distinct kind of glitter coating brush on the top. Um, we have, just as a reminder, we have 59 colors in this kit in total. I think, I think that's a, a nice amount of colors. Here we have our next fairy dust color, and this is Z993. I feel like you can see this one a little bit better. That glitter coating. Yeah, there you go looks so pretty. It has a subtle and shimmery finish. These are actually my favorite kind of special drill type that Diamond Art Club has. I think fairy dust are so pretty. Here's our third and final AB, 126. It's a pale lavender. There's a small amount of those. We are, by the way, of course, going to take a look at the canvas and I'm going to, we're going to find together where these different special drill uh, colors are going to be found. And that way you can hopefully get a sense for where we're going to see those enhancements. Diamond Arclub puts these strands roughly in order of weight as opposed to DMC code. Here's this last strand here. Oh, that's interesting. So there's a bag of 6,010 on this strand and then there was a bag of 6,010 kind of on this other strand. So keep an eye out for that sort of thing, but I don't usually, I don't think I usually see that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. For some reason I was like, was there a fairy dust color that I missed? No, we had two fairy dust colors. We had the purple and the kind of teal kind of aqua color fairy dust. And then we had the white AB, the orange AB and the purple AB, the lavender AB. So let's start down here at the bottom and find where these special drills are going to be. And in the fish, yes, right off the bat, there is quite a lot of the orange AB and it scales up towards its head here. And then this white, this is all white AB through here. There's white AB through here. I think that's her hair. This white is white AB. Over here, this bit of white is white AB as well. And there's a few dots of white AB right here. Um, let me see. There's some of that purple fairy dust right here, as well as some of it kind of sprinkled in here. It's gonna give some shimmer to, where's the original artwork here? It's almost like flower petals that looks like they're down here. It's kind of abstract. Yeah, this is kind of like flowers. Almost, they almost look like succulents. Okay, so yeah, some of those petals have purple AB in them. And, oops, sorry if I just bumped you. There's some of the pale lavender AB right over here. Is that like the fish's tail fin maybe? Okay, um, let me see. There's a lot of confetti, so I want to make sure I don't miss uh, these different colors. There's some of the per light lavender AB over here, this light purple color here and here, as well as over here, there's some of the lavender AB. There's some of the white AB on this fish's fin, as well as back here on its tail, that's white AB. And then there's some orange AB here and here, and up here again on its face too. And there's some white AB sprinkled in its scales. Some purple fairy dust in here and Ooh, there it is. Okay, so that kind of light aqua fairy dust color. There's a little sprinkle of it right here and a little bit of it, of it over here as well. I feel like there was not a ton of that particular color, so we might not see a lot. Uh, the purple fairy dust is over here and there's a little line of it right here. Um, in this particular fish, we have again, lots of the orange ABs up here. Some white ABs in its fins and sprinkled in its scales and not in its tail. <laughs> um, but I feel like, where is that? I'm worried I'm missing some of that light purple AB, but there was so little of it, maybe I'm not. There's a little bit of that light teal fairy dust sprinkled in right here. There's some more of the purple fairy dust right here. Let's see about in her, any of her, um, you know, face, like her lips and eyes. I see nothing in her lips, but in her eyes, there's a couple of dots of the white AB in each eye. 
and a little bit of the purple fairy dust in it too oh that's pretty that's really pretty there's a couple of dots of the white ab up here as well uh, there's some purple fairy dust here and here that i can't remember if i mentioned white ab's here and here and then up here towards the top we have some of the purple fairy dust over here in this floral piece and then oh here it is okay there's more of the lavender ab this is her hair it's in here and there's a little bit over here as well we have some white ab in her hair highlighting too this white you see is white ab as is the white over here the white and this fish's fins is white ab this is a line of white ab and then this fish of course has some of a orange ab up here towards its head and a little bit back here in its body too there's some pale lavender ab up in here and this i think this is another one of the flowers or or succulents and then we have some of the that pale kind of aqua teal fairy dust here over here and actually in here as well and this color right next to the fish's face and there's a line of it over here as well as down right here let's see i think ooh, and then we have the pale lavender fairy dust right here and over here i may have mentioned <laughs> I don't I don't remember but just in case so yeah there's gonna be those special drills really just kind of um, throughout I like that we're seeing some of them in her hair and I think that fish scales like fish scales and dragon scales to me inherently call for ABs because there's like a glinty uh, texture and quality to them that I feel like is just perfect for ABs um, I, I like the fairy dust that I'm seeing, but I, I still need to contact Diamond Art Club and just let them know that it seems like maybe there's a little bit less of the glitter coating that I'm used to seeing on the um, purple fairy dust that was in this kit. And I think may have been, there's another kind of last week's kit that I, I thought the same. So I'm gonna send that over to them too, just so you guys know, um, I am aware of that too. But this, just looking at it on the canvas, the render on the canvas, that looks so good. And I feel like nine times out of 10 in my experience and from what I have seen other people posting, I have found in my opinion that nine times out of 10, it looks just, it always looks better when there are drills on the canvas as opposed to just seeing the printed render on the canvas. But this is a preview of, uh, this is like just a rough draft of how good it's gonna look when there are actually diamonds down. And so if this is a rough draft of that, I think that the actual finished look is going to be spectacular <laughs> so i love the colors if you're a fan of pastels i think this one could be for you and just know there is i feel like a good amount of confetti in here with some line color blocking linear color blocking here and there and you know some bigger chunks of color blocking just in a few spaces but overall be prepared for some confetti but i think that it usually does be it, it is usually worth it when it's kind of an underwater style piece but I'm gonna let you guys go. But first, I'm gonna give you a really quick recap. Um, this is Inside Watery Eyes by Margaret Morales, 55.8 by 70 centimeters, square drills, 59 colors, including three ABs that we looked at and two fairy dust. This kit, along with the other new releases, are going to be coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, May 4th. I can't resist, may the 4th be with you. <laughs> and the release time is 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern with that half an hour early access window for Diamond and Ruby tier members. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Is this one gonna be on your shopping list? Are you like me and you're basically collecting all the Margaret Morales pieces at this point? Um, is this one gonna make it in your collection or are you gonna hold off? Uh, be sure to take a look at the uh, sneak peek playlist for this week, which my friend Sophie from the Diamond Help Desk puts together. I'll try to have that linked below if you want to see the other sneak peeks that my fabulous fellow creators have been putting together. Um, to help you decide what you'd like to shop for this weekend so yes please let me know your thoughts below what your first impressions are seeing it too i always enjoy seeing those thank you for watching please subscribe if you want to see more diamond painting content from me i'd love to have you and if you don't mind leaving a thumbs up on the way out i would super appreciate it i hope you have a fantastic weekend my friends and i will talk to you again soon bye mm -hmm.